Could it be the most highly anticipated jailbreak tweak ever? Well, indeed it is. It is for iOS 5, it is IntelliScreen X, and it's here on my iPhone 4. It looks pretty much like your normal run-of-the-mill notification center, doesn't it? But then you notice the little IntelliScreen X ticker right here at the top, which kind of gives it away. And there's lots more here. As you can see right here, there are some toggles, and those are my quick settings that I can access just with a pull-down of the notification center. And I can do like SB settings and toggle on things like data, Wi-Fi, airplane mode, rotation, and I can even respring from the quick settings, which is of course exclusive to IntelliScreen X. No, is that all? Well, of course not. You can see the three dots here indicating that there's more pages to be found and here is Twitter in all its glory and it updates in pretty much real time. All your Twitter updates are pushed to your timeline here on the Twitter page for IntelliScreen X. You can even tweet directly from this as you, I'm gonna show you right now. All you do is tap the tweet button and then type your message. I'm just gonna type testing something Let's see, something awesome, how about that? <laughs> and then once you're finished composing your tweet, you just tap tweet and then bam, tweet it, and you can see it right there in the timeline. Updates pretty much instantly, which is awesome. And then you can, of course, reply from there. You can open the Twitter page if you'd like, and you can see the reply actually puts the at reply right there. Makes it easy for you, doesn't it? Now, how does the refresh work? Where you can either you know pull down the refresh perform an action like I did earlier when I sent a tweet, or you can just switch pages like this and it'll update right there for you. So it's super easy. And then Telescreen Next does a marvelous job with keeping you up to date with the latest ongoings on Twitter. Now here is something very interesting. It's an RSS feed and it's customizable. It even works with Google Reader. Here are all my favorite feeds here. You can see I download blog, 9 to 5 Mac, Daring Fireball, all the good sites that I love to read each and every day. And again, just like Twitter, you can pull down a refresh to get all your latest feeds updated in your feed timeline here. And we'll see hopefully a new story come down from I download blog. There it is. And to read that, all you do is just tap on it and it actually uses the Safari reader interface, which is built into iOS 5, which is great because it formats the story in a way that's easy to read and all your favorite Safari reader functions are right there and available to use. See how it's just easy to read that is. Super simple, very well integrated. And for your convenience, things like the share button allow you to open in Safari or add to your reading list. And then you can also adjust the, the font size. And anybody who's familiar with Safari Reader is gonna be familiar with this interface. It's the same exact interface. Just tap done to get back to your uh, RSS feeds. And if you notice, there's a maximum of five items that appear in your feed, but you can also toggle the new items and the red items just like that, just by tapping the all or new button. And there are all the red items. If I tap all, it switches to the new items and it shows only the new items there. So I have eight new items and 10 items overall in my nine to five Mac feed, and you can switch to them just like that. Now, before I forget, I want to show you the IntelliScreen X ticker, which runs from Notification Center. Right here at the top, you see the Twitter ticker. You can tap that and it actually takes you to that Twitter message. In here, you'll find things like Twitter. You'll find your RSS feeds in the ticker. You'll find Facebook if you have that enabled. So that's a really convenient thing to find just quick snapshots of what's going on in your world with regard to your social networking. Now, let me show you one other cool thing that I really like. Can you guess what it is? Well, I'm pretty sure you already know just because I'm on my lock screen, but there you go. You can actually access your notification center and all your pages for IntelliScreen X right from your lock screen. Yes, without unlocking your phone, you can access all this information. And as you know, you can't do this currently, even with notification center on a stock iOS 5 device. You can even read your favorite RSS feeds and things like that. So that's pretty awesome. Now, if you go into the settings for IntelliScreen X, you'll notice a bevy of different settings. You have all these different pages. You can have Facebook page, you can have mail page. I have those disabled for right now. As you can see, you can hide those. But your mail, you can have specific enabled accounts that you want. Facebook, the same thing. You can have your account uh, authorized for Facebook. And then you see here, Twitter, of course, that uses the integrated Twitter in iOS 5. There is my account. I didn't have to put that in. It used the the Twitter integration that's built in iOS 5, which is nice. And then you have your RSS feeds. You can import your RSS feeds using Google Reader, so you don't have to put them in one by one. You just import all your feeds, and then you can sort them, organize them, enable or disable whichever ones you want, which is really, really, really cool and super convenient for you RSS fanatics out there. You can change the title, the preview, 
And all these, as you notice, you can change the, the colors, the message color and all that. And that pretty much applies to all the pages on a Telescreen X. Under general, you have show lock screen, show on startup, lock screen dim, and then you have the lock screen sale back opacity. And then you have status bar icons. Notice the unread mail icon. If I turn that off, it goes away. If I turn it on, it comes back. Same thing happens with missed calls and unread SMS. You have your events, your reminders, uh, lock screen behavior. So that's a high level overview of IntelliScreen X's settings, but that's not all the settings because you have notification center settings. Let's go into notifications here, and then you'll see here IntelliScreen X settings. All that does is take you right back to the main settings panel for IntelliScreen. Then you have IntelliScreen X top shelf. Now what's the top shelf? It's actually this right here. That is the top shelf. Notice how it kind of goes away. And if you pull it down all the way, it stays. That is the top shelf. So you can kind of hide it out of the way, just like a shelf. Uh, but what's really nice about this is you can add additional items to the top shelf. Let me add the, well, let's add the stock widget instead to the top shelf. Now watch what happens here. You no longer see the stock ticker in the main view, but just a quick pull down reveals the stock ticker and then another pull down reveals the toggle. So that is the IntelliScreen X top shelf. Very convenient, very handy to have. So ladies and gentlemen, again, that was a high level video walkthrough of a Telescreen X. It's going to debut at $9.99. So get your pocketbooks ready. Folks, this right here, I'm just going to cut to the chase. This is a reason to jailbreak your iPhone, no doubt. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, folks. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.